pee or not to pee? That is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the drips and dribbles of those pugs and poodles, or to lift my leg against a sea of troubles, and by opposing, end them, they'll smell you no more. And when I sleep, to say we end the heartache, and the endless asinine talk my ears are air to, tis a consummation devoutly to be wished, to try to sleep. To sleep, perchance to dream. Aye, there's the rub. Mm. For in that sleep so deep, what dreams may come when we have shuffled off this total fool must give us pause. Really? There's the respect that makes calamity of such long days. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time, the oppressor's wrong, the proud man's contumely, the pangs of despised love, the insolence of offering this slop? I, patient, bear it. Who would the harness wear to grunt and sweat under a weary life, but that the dread of something even worse? It puzzles the will and makes us bear those ills we have, then run to others that we know not of. It must follow, as the night the day, I canst not then be false to any man. This is the very ecstasy of love. Well, brevity is the soul of wit. There is nothing either good or bad, but thinking makes it so.